earlier this week, we were asking who is having a crisis conference or needs to have one like the Royals did for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. And that's where we met m H fan member Audrey from St. Pete. Exactly. Who had to sort of have a come to Jesus with her family because her uh, grandparents are going to just pick up and move to, what was it, Tennessee? Tennessee. 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 Okay. And they kind of just expect Audrey to pack up the kids and come with, you know. And Audrey, in her head, says, I'm done Mm. picking up and moving all over the place. I've been doing it my whole life. I don't want to do it anymore. So, Audrey, when we talked to you yesterday on the show, you said that you were going to have a conversation with your grandparents, a sort of the crisis conference to tell them, I'm not moving. My kids aren't going. We're staying here in Tampa Bay. But something else happened to trip that up. What happened? I moved it to yesterday because she ended up calling me. So I was just going to get it over with. Okay. Well, she's been having periods of, like, she doesn't feel good moments. And she had just recently came down with the old pneumonia and is getting over it. So I was going to let her get over that. Well, she dropped a bigger bomb on me yesterday when she called me and told me that the doctors have found a cancerous mass in her lungs. Oh. Wow. So there was no way I was going to be able to drop that on her. Yeah. Wow. So this sounds like a, a situation from a TV show where you're like gotten the courage up to finally tell your grandparents, putting your foot down, I'm not going. And then she goes, wait a minute. They found something cancerous with me. Oh, my gosh. Wait, are they still yeah. going to move with her now cancer diagnosis? This seems not I, well thought out. I asked her that yesterday, too, and she was like, this doesn't put a damper on anything. She said, I'm supposed to be in Tennessee. That's where I feel like I should spend the rest of my life. And I refuse to do chemo or radiation or any type of surgery. I'm just going to live happy with my life and my family for as long as I've gotten. I'm just like, oh, oh my God, you're going to make me move. <laughs> so now that you know that she's still planning on moving and she's not planning on getting any chemo treatments what are you gonna do has that changed your mind i don't know i'm so torn and now this just playing into the mix is just a lot worse because i know if you guys ask people's opinions they're gonna be like well she doesn't have long left or you know all of that and then like in the very very back of my mind i have a small little voice that just says this is your time, and this is your life. This is what you're supposed to do. You need to list, grab a hold of that voice, try to make it as big as you can, and listen to it. Because here's what people do that are used to getting their way, a.k.a. your grandma. They, she is refusing treatment. Uh, that is her choice, that she doesn't want to try to better her situation. Uh, I, if I were a doctor, I'd advise against that. And so based on that decision, she is selfishly deciding that, well, here's what I'm going to do so my family can just deal with it. She does not run your life. So you are an adult and you are well within your means to say, I I respect your decision not to treat the cancer and to, to move, but those aren't my decisions. And for the health and the mental health of myself and my family, we're staying here. It's kind of like one of those things where I want my kids to be around her as long as they can be, but I don't want them to have to watch her go through that. And she will be going through that. I mean, when you refuse any kind of treatment like that, I mean, I don't, we don't have all the details about her actual health diagnosis and prognosis and everything, but obviously you're refusing help. So you're taking your chances with whatever comes and it can get pretty ugly, you know, and I think she's afraid because there has been rumor and talk about if if she does get the surgery to take out that part of her lung, that she won't survive it. And I think that scares her. Mm. Well, again, Oof. and I think those are her choices a big part in her decision. Sure. And those are her choices and they're hers to make. And, and she can choose to do whatever she wants to do. But so can you. And just because she expects you to just follow her. That doesn't mean that you have to. See, and I received lots of text messages this morning from all of my friends that heard my radio thing saying, you need to listen to Holly. You need to listen to Holly. Mm. Allow my spending quite a bit of money on therapy for this exact same thing (laughs) to help you because you don't owe anyone anything. You need to live your best life.
and this is very true. So I guess I'm going to hang on to that little tiny voice and make it really big. Yep. So when are you going to have the conversation? I'm probably going to have the conversation now, like 100% sure, probably Friday, which is the 17th, because I know they're not leaving now because I think she's going to have her biopsy done on Thursday. Okay, so you're going to have the conversation Friday. Well, can we check in with you next week to see how the conversation went and how did old grandma react to it? Yes. 